All right, I, this is funny. It's, <laughs> they definitely recommended stuff here. Uh, let's do frame.wtf. Um, I didn't like that, that orientation. While it might be better for the TV, it's not better for me. So I'm gonna stick with this orientation. I don't think it's that big of a deal for people if they wanna watch it on TV because, you know, they can still see everything on the screen. So I can't see everything on the screen otherwise. All right, is this, I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, okay, Jojo Rabbit. That last one I was thinking Jojo Rabbit too, but then I was like, that's, I don't know what's, why that popped into my brain, but yeah, this was, I guess I should have paid attention to the color schemes here. I could have looked for more clues. Disappointed in myself as him running with Hitler. All right, let's do box office game. If anybody watched our first Act Turtle episode that was kind of a slog, uh, watch the one that Karen and I recorded yesterday. Um, it's barely a half hour. We only did half of it. We didn't do a whole month. And it was a lot more fun, and we were better prepared for it, I, th I feel like. so. And then once we get caught up, we'll just do it every week. So we'll just do seven in a row, and it'll probably only be like 10 minutes, 15 minutes each time. Um, and that'll be fun. I think box office game would be really fun to play with Karen. I'd like to do that sometime. we we'll figure that out. All right. 91 in June. I wonder if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or I think that was... Yeah, I think the second one came out in 91. Oh, not three. Ah. Secret of the U... Come on! No, darn. Oh, darn. Uh, Hook? Is Hook 91? Okay, I'll, I'll go for the hints now. I tried. Uh, tagline. Sometimes the only way to uphold justice is to break the law. Okay. Okay, Boomer. Kevin Costner. Is this Vengeance? Oh no, revenge. <laughs> Not vengeance. It's way different. Okay. Next person. Morgan Freeman. Huh. Why am I blanking on it? Um Um, I am blanking on it. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't want to spend much more brain power on it. Oh. I'm stupid. Dude, this was one of the first movies I saw in theater. I was six. And it was pretty terrifying for a six-year-old. I was like, my grandma was like, Robin Hood, that's going to be fun. Let's like the Disney movie. But no, it was pretty violent. So this was one of my first theatrical experiences. So this bring me back to June 21st. Oh, it was the day after my sixth birthday. So she probably took me for my birthday. Uh, yesterday they were businessmen. Today they're cowboys. Tomorrow they'll be walking funny. Oh, city slickers. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Man, my ass is swollen. I haven't seen city slickers in a long time. That's a terrible poster. That's not the... That's an awful poster. Oh, God. All right. Uh, tagline. She's giving him something nobody else could. A reason to live. Ah. Pretty woman. Dunking down the street. Pretty woman. No? No? No. She's given him. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. A nurse falls, I don't know. I have no idea. A nurse falls in love with a terminally ill man. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this. Dying young. Not familiar with that. Don't know. I'm. See, like I said, that's the thing that kids miss nowadays, is going and seeing movie post or or VHSs or DVDs in the video store, reading them, reading the back, reading what it's about. There's tons of movies I'm super familiar with that I never saw because I looked at the DVD or the VHSs as a kid. I would go when my mom would go grocery shopping. I would just go to the movie area because they had like a little movie rental place in the grocery store and I would just go look at the movies there even when we weren't renting one all right tagline three years before well I guess kids can do that on demand now or that kind of stuff but I don't know maybe that's an experience they have let me know if you have kids that do that kind of stuff let me know in the comments three years before the United States declared war Cliff Accord leads America's first battle against the Nazis. Nice by Walt Disney. Billy Campbell, Jennifer Connelly, Alan Arkin. I don't know. Action adventure family. This battle against the Nazis. A young pilot stumbles into a prototype jetpack. Oh, the Rocketeer. I didn't know Jennifer Connelly was in that. That's a sick poster. Oh my god, that's so sick. Man. There's an Iron Giant poster that kind of looks like this. That's just perfect. Man, this is an awesome poster. This isn't the poster that was on the VHS, so... I don't recognize this, but man, that is so cool. Hand-drawn. Beautiful. Oh god, that's an awesome poster. It makes me want to watch the movie. I never saw it. I was very familiar with it, but never watched it. I don't think I did anyway. Silent behind a door, it waits. One breath of oxygen and it explodes in deadly rage. <laughs> it is that instant it can create a hero or cover a secret. Yeah, it's long-winded tagline. That's not a tagline. All right. Too much. Too much. Silently behind a door, it waits. So it waits behind a door? So in a room or like behind the door frame when it's open. Okay. One breath of oxygen and it explodes into a deadly rage. What? Kurt Russell. Oh. Huh. How about that? All right. Backdraft. That's an awesome poster, though, also. This is the official poster, so this is what it was in there. Great cast for this movie. Just one of those event movies that it was like, like Twister was, or like Titanic was, that it was like, this is about a thing. Twister's about tornadoes. Backdraft's about fires. Titanic, what was Titanic about? I don't remember. But anyway, let's see how we did on points. Oh, that first one I still didn't do? I give up. What is it? Oh. I saw Robin Hood in the plot. <laughs> Hi, Dandy. Uh, I saw Robin Hood in the plot, but didn't type it in, so that's why. All right, so that's it. Didn't do great. 205 points. Didn't do great. We'll see you guys tomorrow.